Hello and welcome to Mathematical Statistics. Um, I will be your guide. Um, so in this course, um, well, in this video, I'm going to start by giving a, just a short description of what statistics is about, um, very briefly, um, and in particular what distinguishes it from probability. And then I'll say a few words about kind of where the kind of um, technical starting point is um, for you know the material in the course. Okay, so what what is what's the point of all this? Well, in probability, um, one is typically uh, has the following setup: you're given some random variable x, we like to call our random variables x, and then we say what will happen probabilistically when we sample it. That's typically the way it goes. Like your random variable might be um, you know represent a, a coin toss, and then you know you sample it ten times. It's like ten independent tosses. And you say, what's the probability they got seven heads or something like that? Okay. In statistics, um, we are given a random variable, but we're not completely given it. We are given some partial information, typically, about a random variable. There's something unknown about it. And then after sampling, after taking measurements, we then say, what can we infer about these unknown parameters in some probabilistic sense um, of our random variable? So that is to say, um, a probability type thing would be you're given a random variable, you're given its mean and you're given its variance, and you want to say, well, what's the probability that some measurements I take will be relatively close to the mean? Okay. So that's a, you know, at least something that is reasonably estimable um, in probability. Um, in statistics, on the other hand, you might say um, you have some random variable x, and you take some measurements, and then you try to figure out, based on the measurements, what the mean and the variance are. And then you might want to say, like, maybe what's your best guess for them? Or you might want to say, like, um, what's a range of values that they might be within? How confident are you about that range of values? And typically, you'll also want to start with some information about your random variable, maybe that it was normally distributed, or I don't know, you know, something like that. Anyway, so these are all then statistical questions about what more can you say about your original distribution um, after having taken some measurements, at least what can you say in a probabilistic sense. So you can guess the values of these, of these unknown parameters, that's called point estimation. You can give some bounds, uh, regions where you are, have some confidence that's within, these are called, uh, it's called in, uh, interval estimation. You might say, well, I think the mean for whatever reason, I believe that it's either this number A or it's this number B, and I want to check which one it is. Um, you know, or maybe you, you know, you might say like you you have you start out with the um, with the default assumption that it's A, and you might want to check is it A or maybe is it B. Um, this is called hypothesis testing, and these are all things that you are trying to do to figure out um, or to describe in some better way the distribution of your original random variable. Okay, and you know that's the nutshell. That's that's uh, statistics. So going into statistics, of course, it's just a matter of a lot of probability. You know, you you need the prob. It's it's really just an outgrowth of, of probability, although a different perspective on it. Um, and we will need you know all of our old distributions and our knowledge about them, and some new-ish distributions, um, maybe ones that were maybe technically brought up, but maybe weren't particularly emphasized in the original probability course, but um, but you know we'll we'll find some new some new friendly distributions that will help us out. So imagine, for example, here's a, a kind of a situation like let's say you have some uh, normally distributed random variable. Okay, uh, although maybe we don't know that much about it. Well, well, you know, whatever. Normally distributed random variable. Maybe maybe we know just fine even. Okay. Um, you, let's say, take a sample of 10 measurements, and using these 10 measurements, you, um, estimate, you estimate the, um, the variance. Okay, so from that point of view, given your 10 samples, you get an estimated variance, and therefore, this estimated variance can be thought of as a new random variable coming from, you know, these... 10 random variables corresponding to these 10 measurements. So then you might ask, this new random variable, which is my estimated variance, what is its distribution? If I want to infer something about like 
how certain I'll be about its about its value and stuff like that. I'll want to know something about its distribution. And so this is just an example of, you know, kind of the old probability in just a new way. We have these interesting new random variables. So the answer is more or less this is a chi-square distribution, which is um, something that we may or may not have seen in a prior probability course, um, up to some normalization of this. Um, and so we'll, we'll see that there's some interesting new uh, uh, distributions that naturally come up with these statistical questions. Um, in order to kind of tame the zoo of wild distributions that we're going to um, uh, bump into, uh, moment generating functions play a handy role. It's going to be, um, they're, they're a nice way of keeping track of and identifying uh, distributions of random variables and their properties. So uh, moment generating functions are, are worth are worth a look. Um, besides that, um, we'll be of course making use of the basic notions from probability like um, mean, variance, covariance, uh, as well as of course moment generating functions, law of large numbers, central limit theorem, and things like that. Um, all right, and my own background, um, just to put it on the table, is not from the world of applications. Um, I um, really work more in the theory side of things, um, but I am, uh, I realize this, uh, this course um, it has, a, has a relatively uh, wide uh, range of clientele, and I'm looking forward to learning about um, other people's perspectives on what might be interesting or useful for, um, for those people who might be following these lectures. And I welcome any uh, comments and questions, of course. So see you soon.